<laughs> Turn power on. Oh, I'm serious. Here we go. Yep. And that motor is definitely shot. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Got a quick little no heat train gas furnace service call in this video right here. Overheating, blower's dead. Blower took out the control board. Here's that video, quick little diagnosis. The jury's still out whether or not we're gonna make a repair, but I did have a hairline, a few hairline cracks due to rust on the bottom of the heat exchanger. I'm gonna show you the visual inspection at the end of the video. Let's get going. Okay, sorry to hear you. Good morning. How are you? Got some heat? No. Yeah, it's a little wet out there. I don't want to mess up your floor. Oh my God. I'm not going to be the one to change it for you. <laughs> How are you, ma'am? Good. I'm going to give you my card. You. I'm sorry. I saw you on um, YouTube. Oh, yeah? Yeah, when I realized what was going on, I me mean, okay, this is the first one in the neighborhood too. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm mine. <laughs> Lead the way. <laughs> I understand you got a train gas furnace. You ain't got no heat. Yeah, I know it's old, but oh. I feel old too sometimes, but sometimes oh, I just need a, a little pick-me-up. <laughs> coffee in the morning. Oh, All right. No, it's not really running. It's, no. it's, the uh, fan is running. The, the oh. blower is running. Well, that's about it. So let's see if there's an error code. Watch you. So I'm like, okay, this is the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. That's a good thing system you have that you're using. It's right? a good system. And you have an error code flashing four times. So let's open up the cover. And I like to make educational videos. Yeah, that's Ooh, good. what's going on with, why is this so filthy? Let's see. Let's see if the error code is on here on this. Four. High limit device. Okay. Let's take off the upper door. How old is this furnace, dear? Oh, when we got here, it was about 20. So this thing was manufactured in April of 2005. It's the only one for the house? Yeah. Okay. Got the gas valve inside there, wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's continuously flash. Clean ignition. Before it stopped working, did you notice any weird smells in the house, like a burning smell or anything, or no? Everything was normal. Okay. So right now the blower 
you know, that moves the air is not coming on, and it should have came on already, but it didn't. So you could have a bad blower, you could have a bad board, could be a bad capacitor, but I'll get my tools from the truck and we'll figure this out. Okay, so now that's the error of it overheating, so let's get the tools. So let's, let's go to R. And let's see if we can get our fan on by jumping out R and G. Let's push in our door switch. And let's get that jumped out and nothing happens. Nothing. Let's just try to manage this a little bit better. Let's remove Y. So our W, which is heating. Okay. So now we don't have a call for heat. Let's get G and R. And nothing. Not even the click of the relay. Not even the click of the relay, so this board is dead <laughs> turn power on oh i'm serious here we go yep and that motor is definitely shot <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we gave it direct power the motor and the motor's shot, so right, the blower is out. Let's take a look at our heat exchanger. Oh. Yep. And there too. So ladies and gentlemen, if you live in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, and you're tired of getting bamboozled by your HVAC contractor, pick up the phone and call me, 516-348-6300, or save time, book online at pipedoc.net. Thank you so much for tuning in. Catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe. Go hug your kids.